Welcome back to David Lamberjack's channel. I'm your host, David Lamberjack. Electric vehicles may already be going out of fashion, and this is all due to my favorite element, which is hydrogen. How will this affect the automotive market? And are people really using hydrogen instead of gasoline? We will get into it. But first, make sure that you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell to get updates on all things race cars and finance. So as we know, there's a limited supply of oil and gasoline here on our little planet. And in the same regard, there's an even more limited supply of lithium, which is the main ingredient in electric cars. Oil and lithium are obviously very expensive, and they're probably not the greatest thing for our environment, at least in the long term. I think that it goes without saying that we're long overdue a solution to this issue. So, what are we gonna do? Well, as it turns out, using hydrogen as a power source has quickly become the topic of discussion when it comes to this very issue. Even though it's everywhere, most people don't know that it has a very special characteristic. In regard to powering cars, it only has two byproducts. Can you guess what they are? Heat and H2O. Warm water. Warm water, are you kidding me? I eat warm water every single day. Now the process by which this actually happens and water and heat and all that stuff is exchanged, it's super, super complicated. And I don't really want to get into the technicals in this video, but if you actually want to know, I can make another video about that, but I decided to keep it more fun this time. For right now though, all you need to know is that hydrogen fuel cells operate in a very, very similar way to batteries in powering electric motors. If you didn't already know, Yes, hydrogen powered cars actually do exist today. But there's a super obvious problem with this and that is that you have actually probably never seen a hydrogen station unless maybe you live in California or specific parts of the world. There's so few and far between. There's like 50 in the US. But Toyota, Hyundai, and Honda have all dipped their toes into this market. You can actually go buy a hydrogen car today. Although it's probably gonna be very useless unless you've got a hydrogen station in your hometown and you never leave that hometown. So yeah, given the current technology and the infrastructure, we just don't have the means by which we can actually make this a real regular thing. You may have already seen a few people on the internet actually incorporating hydrogen into their gas powered cars to cut down on fuel costs. Now this is possible in theory, but like I said, this is a really, really complicated process and it would require a ton of engineering in order to carry this out. Cars are programmed to know the exact amount of air and fuel entering the engine in order to run well. Adding hydrogen into this system would be a massive undertaking to say the least. I feel like when I saw these homemade hydrogen cars, it really got my hopes up. Obviously most of them are fake and at this rate it seems like hydrogen cars are just gonna be some kind of expensive prototype that we'll never actually see on the road. I'm just kidding dude! I'm just kidding! Oh my gosh you idiot! Toyota to the freaking rescue once again. This year Toyota announced the production of a 450 horsepower V8 hydrogen powered engine. This whole thing is very similar to a regular V8 with just a couple minor tweaks to the fueling system. It's like the greatest engineering accomplishment I've ever seen in my entire life. This production clearly indicates that hydrogen can power electric motors as well as gasoline motors. On top of that, since it on top of that, since it only takes a couple modifications to the fuel system, we might actually be able to see conversion kits being made for used cars. Can you imagine my car running on hydrogen? Dude, that would be so sick. So, how much longer before we see all this start to happen? Well, it's hard to say, but given Toyota's new development, I would say that it's probably gonna be sooner rather than later. I would give it maybe one to five years and then we're gonna start seeing this more widespread. So Elon, hydrogen power is very likely to become the standard, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna take as much change as we previously assumed. I think that if Toyota can actually keep up with this production, we can all benefit as a society without having to restart an entire industry. You think that widespread hydrogen cars are a real possibility? I certainly do, and I've got so much more to share on this. So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are and if you wanna see more videos like this, because like I said, I've got so much to say about this topic. But while we wait for hydrogen cars to become a real, real reality, you can click this video which is going to show you the best ways that you can save money on your car today. As always, it's been an honor, it's been a pleasure, and I will see you in the next one.